Hello, this is Kyle Harth with Ruger Range Drills. So today, what we're gonna work on is we're going to come from the holster and we're going to present and make a single shot on steel. And we're going to be doing that in target time of under two seconds. So much like we did with our press out drills where we were trying to get to a one second mark as a presentation from a ready to a forward and shoot, we're now going to try to do at another second and come out of the holster and do the same thing. So if we could have gotten that drill in under a second like we tried to do in the first series, now we're only adding one more second and in that second, all we have to do is get the weapon out of the holster and get it into the ready position and all the time should flow. Again, we're gonna do this without the timer and then we're gonna introduce the time and see how that changes things. So let's take a look at what that looks like downrange. So, we're gonna be shooting steel and we're shooting frangible ammunition. It's important that you know the right distance for the type of ammunition you're shooting on steel. I prefer frangible because it gives me a closer distance to work with and it's much safer, less splay. So make sure your range allows you to shoot steel and then make sure you know the correct distance for the ammunition you're shooting. So again, the drill that we're working on is coming out of the holster, presenting and making a shot and we're gonna introduce time later to get to the two second mark. So let's take a look at what it looks like. So buzzer goes off. We grip the handgun, we present it, we push out, and we make the shot. All right, let's take a look at what that looks like. Buzzer goes off, we grip the handgun, present it, we push out, find our sights, and make the shot. Remember, our finger, trigger finger is going to go straight when we come back to the ready position, and it stays outside the holster when we holster. All right, so... That's two shots, probably better than I'll ever shoot again, right on top of each other. But remember, with introduction of time, we're putting a stressor on ourselves. So I'm going to turn my app on on my phone that I've got for my timer. And we're going to see what that looks like. Because again, you want to push yourself to make the time, but you also want to not lose accuracy. So let's take a look. I'm going to start my timer and get ready. All right, still a clean shot, and I was at 255. So I'm a little bit slow for what it is I'm trying to accomplish, but my shot is still very accurate, right in center line on the steel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to push that time just a little faster and introduce a little more stressor to myself, but try to maintain that accuracy. So let's see how that goes. Waiting for the buzzer. Okay, that time we started to compress it down just a little bit. We're now at 2.28 seconds. So I'm a quarter second off what my target speed wants to be. But my accuracy is still good. So I should be able to push that time just a little bit harder and stress myself just a little bit more and get that to accomplish the goal I want to. So this time, let's really try to push it, but concentrate on fundamentals and see if we can get that shot broken under two seconds and waiting for the timer. Okay, still a great shot on target, right in the center line, 1.98 seconds. So, it seems that when we were talking about it, like the introduction of just that one more second of time, we realize now that when we look back and see that we could shoot almost a half second of time when we were just doing the press out drills, now we're introducing holster work and a holster, we're adding a whole nother second, but we also see that the holster coming out is a little bit slower. So if I've got something to work on, it's my speed out of holster time, not as much my press up time. But by doing one part of the drill in the beginning and then combining those with the draw stroke, now we can see where our time is being taken up. But again, 1.98, our target time was get under two seconds from the buzzer. We accomplished that and we got great strikes on target. So that's the draw from the holster one shot drill, pressing yourself with that time. Take a look at it, try it out, and it'll improve your skill set at the range.